coming up this morning, an agency steps in to help out Kentucky families who are affected by severe weather at the beginning of the year. An Eastern Kentucky Foster Care Service asks families in our region to open their homes to children in need. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Oh my goodness, good morning. It's 6.33, it's Thursday. Woo, goodness me, Brandon, please take over. I'm telling you, just... Yeah, let me have it. You know, at the beginning, I'm going to start taking my IFB out. Just, I don't hear things, but... Man, goodness, yeah. I just wish y'all could hear what goes on behind the scenes. Man, it's it's a time here. We yeah. have a time here. Exactly. Let's talk about the weather, because that's the thing on everybody's minds this morning. A lot of folks, last day at school for kids across the region. Some folks already out. Some folks maybe have another day to go, but today sounds like the majority of the last days for the kids. Let's take a look, see what's going on in live pinpoint Doppler radar. Some rain out there in some areas. It's getting further to the north in the eastern counties there. So Johnson, Martin, up toward Lawrence County, over into uh, Mingo and Logan counties in West Virginia. And then you see that line over toward uh, the I-75 corridor trying to break up a little bit. But uh, again, keeping an eye on that as it, approve, or as it moves into Rock Castle, Laurel, and Whitley counties here in just a little bit. There's London along I-75. You can see the overcast skies off in the distance there. I'm going to be looking toward the west there uh, on that camera. Maybe, I don't know. It's hard to tell in that way, but we're seeing temperatures out there mild this morning. 59 Clintwood and Wise, 68 Moorhead and Ashland, 69 in Wayne, Manchester and London this morning. Again, a lot of us in the 60s right now. Forecast for today, 79. If we can get some breaks in between these morning showers and afternoon storms, and then we'll see chances for rain continue tonight, at least for a little while before they start to taper off. Dakota. All right, Brennan, thank you. Well, Pike County officials are working with the Small Business Administration to open doors for families in the area who lost so much during the first days of 2022. Our buddy Forbes shows how a remote office in the Belfry area is hoping to bring more options to those in need. Sounds of waters raging met with the sounds of working to rebuild. You know, it's really tough. Uh, having been there from the time when we were rescuing folks out of homes, uh, when the water's up around their homes or in their homes to the point where uh, you're going back uh, doing damage assessment once the water goes down. Many people in Pike County impacted by the New Year's Day flooding are still looking for a hand up. The first time we got denied by FEMA, um, we, filed the, uh, we filed the appeal, we get denied again. Which is where the U.S. Small Business Administration is hoping to help out. Potentially, they could, someone could be eligible for $240,000 at 1.43% for 30 years. The SBA is offering low interest loans to help impacted residents and businesses keep their heads above as they continue the efforts to move forward. Setting up at the Belfry Fire Department to help anyone who needs assistance filling out an application over the next week. You know, it's not like saying there's nothing we can do. There's no guarantee that everybody qualifies for this, but at least there is a program out there that uh, possibly can help folks uh, that are in a pinch. Pike County Emergency Management Director Nee Jackson says this is not the answer for everyone and other possible options and programs are still being looked into. There are some things that are available and if people don't apply, they don't, they'll never know if they, if they're going to qualify. But he said this assistance could mean everything to someone. In Pike County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. The application assistance site is open at the fire department through June 2nd. Those involved hope it will encourage more of those impacted by the flooding to look into their options. Well, mothers are still struggling to find nutrition for their babies since the Abbott recall in February. Shelves have remained sparse. Now this has forced some mothers to travel out of their countries or even out of state. Some mothers say they live each day in fear never imagined like when I open this can am I going to be able to find another can like I never imagined that and like I never thought in a million years that I wouldn't be able to feed my kid well even though the federal government is taking steps to speed up getting formula makers back in business it could still be weeks before store shelves are stocked more baby formula from overseas has made it to the U.S. A FedEx plane brought the second shipment of formula 
from Germany to the to Dulles International Airport in Virginia on Wednesday. Well, the White House says this shipment carries 100,000 pounds of a hypoallergenic baby formula, which is equal to about 1 million 8 ounce containers. It's part of Operation Fly Formula, the federal government's response to the nationwide formula shortage. Well, the pallets that arrived yesterday will go to a distribution facility in Pennsylvania. Well, there is a continued need for foster parents here in Eastern Kentucky. Hope Hill Youth Services is looking for more volunteers to house children and young adults. Since the COVID-19 pandemic began, Hope Hill has had a significant decrease in foster parents. Because of this, staff members say they have a lot of children, but not a lot of homes. We're just really in a crisis. We need to get people trained and willing to take children and specifically teens. If you're interested in becoming a foster parent, we have that link where you can sign up over on WYMT.com. Well, the High Five for Health initiative hopes to address the high childhood obes obesity rate here in Kentucky. The Foundation for Healthy Kentucky and the Kentucky Department of Education unveiled the initiative to promote healthy habits kids should develop during the summer. Organization officials said kids should prioritize physical activity, practice healthy eating, monitor chronic conditions, stay up to date on vaccines, and manage stress and emotions. Each of our behaviors takes a little time to mold or to break. Um, so over the summer months, we're hoping that the high, high Five for Health campaign will help us establish some new behaviors that we can carry with us uh, down the road. The initiative urges healthcare professionals, community driven organizations, and parents to learn more through free resources available online. In May of last year, the Housing Development Alliance teamed up with the City of Hazard to build 15 homes for low income families. May 2022, work on the last house is underway. WYMT's Jade Saylor visited the neighborhood to see the progress. Housing Development Alliance began the groundwork on the 15th and final house of their project in Gurney's Bend Wednesday. Last year, May 11th, we lifted the first wall on the first home in Gurney's Bend. And so today, a little over a year later, we're now digging the final footer. Putting low income families into homes in the city of Hazard. Just to watch each of these homes go up and to see them go as quickly as they did and then to watch the families move in is just extraordinary because you know that it's low income families who now have an opportunity to, to have the best future possible. The crew, along with volunteers, were able to get 14 houses complete in just one year and expect the 15th to be done by the end of summer. It's all about the crew. It's not only me, it's everyone around me that make it happen and make it possible. HDA plans to take on more projects like this one in other areas while continuing to work on repairs. Oh my goodness, this this project is one of the biggest projects we've done and it's the only project of its kind that we've done so far. So we hope to do more projects like this one. Um, we're trying to find land in Leslie County and Breathitt County right now. Summer is the time they see the most volunteers and they ask anyone interested to come lend a hammer and a hand. If you want to volunteer, come out and help us. We'd really appreciate it. We take, you know, we, uh, we appreciate all the help that we can get. The entire project is expected to be complete by the end of the year. In Hazard, Jade Sailor, WIMT, Mountain News. Well, if you are interested in volunteering or donating, you can visit Housing Development Alliance on Facebook to work on projects like this. Six forty one. We are tracking rain across parts of the region this morning. It's been coming up through I seventy five. It's been coming in through far eastern Kentucky, and that's going to come in waves throughout the day. So we're going to continue to watch that Buffalo Mountain heading back up there this morning. Overcast skies, but maybe a few breaks in the action there. Windy. You can tell it up there on the ridge for sure. Temperatures up there and down here in Hazard at 64, 69 London, Manchester and Wayne, West Virginia, 68 Moorhead and Ashland, it's 59 in Wise and Clintwood this morning. A lot of 60s out there, including the dew points. Only a couple spots still in the 50s. Once you get above 60, that's the sticky category. And you get above 65, that's the uncomfortable category. So remember that. Breakfast forecast for you today. We are going to see rain chances off and on throughout the morning, but I think our better chances come this afternoon as we see storms potentially fire up heading deeper into the day. Dakota. All right, Brendan, thank you. Well, it's 642. When we come back here on Mountain News this morning. The approval rating of the highest court in the land sees a drop 
after the leak of a draft opinion involving Roe versus Wade. That's on the way.